Dallas County District Attorney Faith Johnson, a Republican, is going up against Democratic challenger John Crusoe. That race right now through this evening has been heavily in favor of Crusoe. Here are the latest numbers 58% reporting Crusoe, 60 percent to Faith Johnson's 40 percent. We got Ken Molestine alive over at the current DA, Faith Johnson's watch party at the Statler Hilton Hotel in Dallas. Somber night for the moment, I would think. Uh, yeah, Doug, you're absolutely right about that. You know, from the very moment that those early voting numbers came out earlier uh, this evening, uh, it was apparent that it was going to be nearly impossible for Republican Faith Johnson to make up that 20 point uh, deficit uh, that you were talking about uh, against uh, John Crusoe. You know, uh, Johnson was hoping that her past couple of years uh, serving as the DA and serving in a capacity in which she dealt with many high profile cases, that this would help her cause in a mostly Democratic Dallas County. Obviously, here she's a Republican. That would be a hard gig to get. That was a challenge all along, but clearly uh, that favor that she was hoping for with the Democratic Party did not uh, help her much. Now, for his part, uh, Cruzo, uh, known as a bit of a reformist, uh, he has a track record uh, for reforming uh, the criminal justice system uh, and for working on different uh, criminal diversion programs. He was able to, from the very beginning, cruise on to a victory. Here's what he had to say earlier tonight. How about less getting some drug treatment for drug offenders instead of the penitentiary? Yeah. How about let's straighten up that conviction integrity unit and start getting some folks out of prison if they don't belong there? Yeah, those were all his platforms, uh, the major ones that he ran on, and obviously uh, the voters uh, were in favor of that. I want to tell you something. Uh, Faith Johnson, we understand that she is uh, in the building, but she has not made herself available for interviews just yet. Uh, folks with her campaign said uh, that that wouldn't happen until later on tonight. She wants to wait to see more numbers come in. But at this point, again, uh, it seems nearly impossible that she will win this race. Doug, back to you. Ken Molestina, thank you.